Hello. Today we got some information on the new upcoming events and stuff in Dauntless. 1.0.2, The Haunted Shadows. It's coming out tomorrow. It's not the whole new hunt pass because we still have a few days left on the current hunt pass. So for those of you that uh, were not aware that still have to grind it out and want to get that, that ultimate costume, uh, I think you've got like five, six days, six days maybe, until the hunt pass is over and the new hunt pass begins. But let's get into what is starting tomorrow. So tomorrow, October 24th, the Dark Harvest event starts in Ramsgate. So we're going to get candles. We're going to get little, it's going to be a little spooby, spooby, not spooky, spooby up in there. Um, and the new hunt pass begins on October 31st. Yep, so you have until then to complete the current hunt pass. Dark Harvest. What is it? I don't know. Let's find out. A week of long nights and longer shadows is about to descend. Oh, is it only a week? Is this going to be the uh, um, a really short event until the hunt pass? Huh. About to descend upon the cities. The cities. The city of Slayers. The cities of Slayers. Starting on October 24th, Perpetual Night sinks its teeth into Ramsgate, shrouding the city in an uneasy darkness. But this season of shadows isn't all doom and gloom. Look forward to glowing gourds. Gourds? Gourds. Candlelit stalls and the return of some of our favorite spooky items, including the From Below Arrival email right here. But it comes out of the ground. Can you imagine all four of you coming out of the ground like that? That'd be awesome. And then after about a couple days, it'd be old. But it'd be really cool to see that all at once. <laughs> Brains. Uh, don't miss your chance to see the city transformed. It ends on November 5th. Okay, so it's not one week. It'll go for two weeks-ish. So November 5th. Specifically. Unseen arts. Sharp-eyed slayers may also have noticed the appearance of several troubling transmissions. No, I have not. I have not. I was in there. I don't know. They had maintenance today. I haven't been in there today. What? I Enter. I've never seen these before in my life. If you have. Then maybe we'll learn what it is. These glyphs are the work of the unseen cult. Um... I was watching the live streams today and a couple of the partner streamers like Lion HDTV. You guys should definitely check him out. He's fabulous. Um, but he was talking about last year's event. It was the same kind of event. And you had to go to the Cave of Wonders. It's not the Cave of Wonders. That's copyrighted, I believe. Um, there's a cave in the sewers in the back left of the town. Um, you can get in there. And there was an item in there last week or last year that then you had to go to the Unseen. I guess they have their own account. The Unseen Cult. You had to go to their Twitter account, type in the code, and they'd send you the code for um, there was a cosmetic outfit. I don't know if they're going to do that again this year or if there's going to be something new you have to do this year. Uh, but it is a limited time event. Um, so we'll have to see. A sect with roots dating back to the upheaval. Dark Harvest has a way of drawing them out of their usual burrows. So be cautious as you wander Ramsgate's newly night-soaked streets. You never know what you'll find. Okay, so there might be something again with the Unseen. And I believe I was kind of wrapping everything up, but after the dev live stream, they ended up raiding Lion HDTV today, this morning. And then shortly after that, he either got hosted or he uh, had to have been hosted. Got hosted by the Unseen Cult. So they're a thing. They're a thing. Or at least they're managed by Phoenix Labs. Anyways. So the fact that he got hosted tells me that there's going to be something. There has to be something cool again like that last from last year. Uh, Dauntless's newest hunt pass arrives on October 31st, just in time to confront the unseen threat. As with previous passes, Slayers will be able to earn a full set of cosmetic armor on either the basic or the elite track, plus a prestigious set of ultra armor at elite track level 50. Basically, it's this armor right here in the picture. Uh, the elite, uh, the prestigious, the ultra armor. Ultra armor is what it's called. It glows. All these little gems glow when there's purple radiant smoke that comes off of you. Other than that, it's the same looking outfit. Um, it's pretty slick. It's pretty slick. This passes night hunter theme. There it is right here. See how it's not going? Delivers other witchy rewards as well, like a ghost of a dog emote. Here boy, here boy. I can't remember if he actually barks or not. Keep an eye on our Hunt Pass page for the full list of Haunted Shadows rewards coming soon. Or I'll go through the rewards per usual. Other improvements. 
The Dark Harvest and Haunted Shadows aren't the only things happening in 1.0.2. Take a look at a few of the improvements coming with our October 31st patch. So 1.02 is not tomorrow. I don't know what's happening. They're talking about two different things. The AFK timer. Uh, as a small first step towards easing AFK pains, we've added an AFK kick timer to all hunts. Slayers who go idle for three minutes will now be automatically returned to Ramsgate, freeing up the rest of their party to complete the hunt at an appropriate challenge level. Uh, the compass cleanup. We've added... Some more depth to the compass, making important icons easier to see and de-emphasize some less vital ones. This should make the compass much easier to read and use, especially for slayers working through the main quest line. Uh, to be honest, I don't, I don't see a difference. Uh, patrol chest pref preferences. Uh, the patrol chest on-off toggle will now remember your previous choice. It previously defaulted to on with every new patrol hunt. Oh, you had to toggle it every time? I've never touched it yet. Just don't forget to turn it back on when you decide you want those. Bonus reward. That's cool. That'd be annoying. I would be the kind of person that would forget to turn it and be like, where'd my patrol chest go? <laughs> I don't look at the reward screen. I don't pay attention to any of that. I just play the game. Uh, so I probably would have never even noticed. That's cool. Anyways, we got some spooky stuff happening tomorrow. And then the big, big event is happening on Halloween, October 31st. As a friendly reminder, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash slygumby between the late, late night hours of 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We do a lot of Dauntless, do a few other games. Um, also, stay tuned to the channel. I will be covering the Hunt Pass. Speaking of Hunt Pass, I have a supporter creator code, Slygumby. Use it, abuse it, love it, embrace it. Slygumby, S-L-Y-G-U-M-B-I. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Follow me on Twitter for news, updates, goofiness, at Slygumby. I have a website, Slygumby.com. We have a Discord channel. Link will be in the description below, along with a handful of other useful Dauntless links. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.